So a couple of days ago, I attempted to make my first ever pixel art painting and it didn't go the way that I wanted it to. It's a day later and I've actually gotten better at making pixel art. You might be thinking, how can I improve my pixel art skills in one day? And it genuinely comes from a comment that I got in the last video. Now, the comment comes from Carl N. He says, not sure if this helps, but I find myself improving a lot more in pixel art by limiting the color palette and really taking a step back to learn how lighting works. And when you don't have access to any color you want out there, hope this helps. Now, I looked at this comment and I actually thought about it. This is the first piece that I've ever made. And this is the second one. And the reason why there's significant changes in how it looks is because I really thought about this comment and I applied those things. And also a friend of mine sent me this image as well. This made me think about lighting and just the way that I'm approaching making my pixel art. Because I come from a painting background, I was actually trying to paint my pixel art, which really doesn't make sense now I think about it. Pixel art is a different domain that I'm in, so I have to approach it in a different way. I want to take you through the time lapse of this new pixel art that I made, and I just want to talk through it a little bit. And I want to compare the way that I approached the first pixel art I made to the second one that I made. And hopefully this will help anybody that's coming into pixel art fresh and brand new like I am. Now you might be thinking, what type of information can you actually gain from someone who's just new to pixel art? I can give you information for things that have worked for me in the space of one day. So hopefully this helps and let's dive into the time lapse and see what I actually did to change and improve my pixel art in one day. So the first pixel art I did, as you can see, I just went straight to the blocking phase from a sketch that I previously had. Now, this was a big issue for me because I was completely lost at this point because I didn't really have the best line art to begin with and I had to really focus on color straight away. And because I didn't really limit my color palette, I find it very difficult to even structure how this actual scene would look. As you can see that I went through a, a massive variation of different colors, trying different lines here and there, and it just didn't work at all. And this basically set me up for failure because I had to redo so many things based off this. Now, let me show you how I began my second painting and how easy it was for me to start blocking things out. My second approach was much, much more simple. I just started with my line art here. I kept things very, very blocky. So I knew which sections I would add color to. And this really helped me so much because I was able to structure the scene that I wanted right off the bat and make it a layer in itself. So whenever I needed to tweak things or change things, it was very, very simple for me. As you can see, the line work is very, very clean and very, very simple at this stage. And that's something that I didn't do in my first piece is that I just went straight to the coloring phase from the sketch that I had. But this was just an error for me because I was attempting to make something in a similar way that I normally do to painting. And that is just by sketching a scene out and then letting the paint do its work. But with pixel art, I've noticed that I really have to create the blocking phase of this and then I can attempt to add color and limit my palette. Limiting my palette has also made me think about the colors that I'm going to be using. When I don't have a wide variety of colors to use, I have to be very careful and think about where I'm placing these colors. And this has definitely helped so much after the line drawing phase. This might sound a little bit obvious, but it's not something that I usually do in a regular painting. But in pixel art, I found that actually having layers that make sense works a lot. In painting, you can have lots and lots of layers and you blend those layers, you merge those layers. But with pixel art, I found that separating my layers actually gives me a nice structure to go with this whole scene. Because once I have a certain layer called window light, for example, or my plant or my lamp, I'm able to move those layers around and it makes managing the scene very easy. So coming from a painting background, I would have so many layers. Even in the first pixel art I made, I had up to like 20 layers, 
but in this one I didn't have that much I think at the end I had around 10 or 12 which is significantly less. Before I run this time lapse, I wanted to talk a little bit about references. Now in the last video, I did gather references from Pinterest. I created a mood board, but the difference between those and this pixel art that I made was the references that I gathered were super relevant to what I was trying to make. Now that seems super obvious, but to me at the time, I just wanted to see how pixel art looked in general, but I wasn't really catering it to what I was trying to make. Now if you look at this, for example, I've taken uh, inspiration from the rain, from the cityscape in the background, adding lights to the cityscape and just the small details that if you zoomed in you'll be able to see. But having references that are relevant to what you're trying to make also helps and seeing another artist who's already good at this stuff, it also adds as an inspiration so the little details you might miss you can see it in their work and add it to your own. So I definitely recommend getting more relevant references for the thing that you're trying to make. Now, before I get to the end, I wanna show you the rest of the time-lapse. So I feel a little bit more confident in this whole process of creating pixel art because it's all for my game at the end of the day and I know that the more I make pixel art the better I'm going to get. The next steps for me personally is just to watch 
video tutorials or maybe even take a course on creating pixel art and then I'll learn more and understand more about the whole process but for now I'm super happy and I feel a little bit more confident when it comes to making this stuff in the upcoming weeks for my game and creating like placeholder assets and stuff like that for my game so I'm super happy and yeah on to the next video